In the ever-evolving world of technology, few moments have sent shockwaves through the industry quite like this one. The idea that over a billion Android users might be on the verge of abandoning the operating system they've relied on for years is almost unimaginable. Yet here we are, witnessing what could be one of the most significant shifts in the digital landscape. This isn't about just another software update or a flashy new user interface. This is a fundamental transformation, something seismic that could reshape the way we interact with technology forever. For years, a quiet revolution has been brewing beneath the surface, gathering momentum until now, when it threatens to change everything we thought we knew about mobile and connected devices. The catalyst behind this shift is Harmony OS, a name that, until recently, many might have dismissed as little more than a footnote in the ongoing geopolitical saga. But Harmony OS was born not from grand ambition, but out of necessity. Back in 2019, when Huawei found itself cut off from Google's Android due to growing international restrictions, it faced a choice, fall behind or find a new way forward. Harmony OS emerged as a safety net, a backup plan designed to keep Huawei's ecosystem alive in uncertain times. At first, few paid much attention to this modest debut. It seemed like just another alternative operating system, perhaps a contingency that might never fully take off. But beneath that unassuming beginning was something far more audacious, a vision of the future where technology wasn't tethered to a single device, but lived in a seamless interconnected universe of devices. This was an idea that dared to reimagine what an operating system could be. It wasn't about competing device by division, it was about creating an ecosystem where devices work together, intuitively and harmoniously. Step by step, the vision took shape. Starting with smart TVs and Internet of Things gadgets, Harmony OS quietly evolved, growing more capable and refined with each passing year. Then, in 2021, it made a bold leap into smartphones and tablets, with Harmony OS 2 powering Huawei's flagship devices. This was no ordinary update. It was the birth of an ecosystem that went beyond coexistence. Devices began to cooperate in ways that felt almost organic. The super device feature allowed phones, watches, speakers, and even home appliances to communicate and respond as if they were all parts of the same living system. Users quickly noticed the difference. The experience was no longer clunky or fragmented. It was fluid and intuitive. Tasks that once required multiple steps or manual setup now happened effortlessly, as if the devices understood each other. What started as a mere contingency plan began to look like a glimpse of the future. By 2023, the walls that had kept Harmony OS contained within China began to crumble. Global tensions eased, and Huawei opened the doors to third-party manufacturers. Deals were struck, and the user base exploded, climbing to over 700 million active users worldwide. This wasn't just about Huawei devices or the Chinese market anymore. Harmony OS was stepping onto the... Now in 2025, Harmony OS is no longer trying to catch up. It's leading. Technologies that once seemed like buzzwords, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, machine learning, have become the very foundation of the system. Devices running Harmony OS aren't just faster or more connected. They're smarter, more aware, and more responsive to their users' needs. Then came the whispers in the tech community. Android users, who had long been loyal to their trusted platform, began to reconsider their allegiance, not because Android had failed them, but because Harmony OS offered something they didn't know they were missing, effortless continuity, one seamless ecosystem where every device, from phone to smartwatch to TV to car, worked together as a single digital life without interruption. The migration is no longer hypothetical, it's already underway. Why are people making the switch? What is it about Harmony OS that is turning heads and shifting loyalties? It's the vision and the experience combined. The promise that your technology shouldn't feel like a collection of isolated gadgets, but like a unified whole. When you put your phone down, your watch, your TV, your car should all pick up exactly where you left off. Your entire digital world should feel like one continuous interface, smooth and intuitive. That's what Harmony OS promises, and crucially, it's what it's delivering. The world is watching, because a billion users don't change platforms on a whim. They switch when something truly better arrives. Harmony OS 2025 could be that moment, the turning point where the quiet unrest in the tech world becomes a tidal wave. There's a subtle but growing shift happening. It's not yet a full-scale revolution, but a migration quietly picking up speed. Android users, long comfortable in their familiar ecosystems, are beginning to look elsewhere, not out of boredom or hype, but out of frustration and fatigue. 
Let's be honest. Managing devices in today's interconnected world has become complicated. Phones and tablets often don't communicate well, laptops fight for network priority, smartwatches lose synchronization, even smart home appliances can feel surprisingly dumb. The promise of a truly connected life has become, for many, a fragmented, frustrating mess. Amid this digital chaos, Harmony OS has stepped forward, not demanding attention, but earning it. Imagine a day where your devices don't just coexist but collaborate. You're writing a report on your laptop. You stand up to grab coffee, pick up your tablet and the document follows you seamlessly. You take a call, your smartwatch senses the shift and pauses your music on the living room speakers, resuming it the moment you hang up. No buttons to press, no complex setup, just a fluid. This is the magic of Harmony OS. Where Android and iOS often feel like patchwork solutions cobbled together with apps and settings menus, Harmony OS is a symphony. Each device is an instrument playing in perfect unison. No lag, no confusion, just harmony. But it doesn't stop with convenience. Beneath the surface, a quiet revolution in digital privacy is underway. We live in an age where your data, your location, habits, photos, messages, is a commodity traded, sold, and profiled. Many Android users have resigned themselves to this reality, knowingly or not, but Harmony OS dares to ask a fundamental question. What if privacy didn't have to come at the cost of convenience? With decentralized storage and end-to-end -end encryption baked into its core, Harmony OS isn't just private, it's protective. Its privacy shield system alerts you instantly if an app tries to overreach. No delays, no buried menus. If a social media app suddenly wants access to your microphone, you'll know immediately and get to decide. This isn't about paranoia. It's about empowerment, about reclaiming control in a digital age where control seems increasingly out of reach. Then there's speed. Harmony OS was built from the ground up on a microkernel architecture, a modern strategic engineering choice. It eliminates unnecessary code, optimizes every process, and enhances efficiency. Apps launch instantly, multitasking feels silky smooth, and battery life lasts longer. The system feels alive, responsive, eager, ready. In benchmarks, Harmony OS doesn't just match Android or iOS. It often outperforms them. For tech enthusiasts tired of slowdowns, crashes, and endless updates that fix one problem and create two more, Harmony OS is nothing short of exhilarating. Yet it's not only about speed and security, it's about intelligence. Its AI doesn't just respond to commands, it anticipates your needs. It learns your routines, your habits, your rhythms. Order coffee from the same cafe every morning, Harmony OS will have it ready before you open your eyes. Struggle with deadlines? The system finds gentle, unobtrusive ways to nudge you back on track. It's not just a digital assistant, it's personal foresight. These features aren't gimmicks, they are the early steps toward a system that truly understands you. But the road ahead is far from easy. Harmony OS still faces significant challenges. The app ecosystem, while growing, remains limited. The big names like WhatsApp, Instagram, and TikTok are present, but the depth and variety available on Android and iOS aren't quite there yet. Developers remain cautious. Porting apps takes time and resources, and convincing creators to back a new platform, even one as elegant as Harmony OS, is a complex endeavor. Percept Harmony OS's origin story, born from necessity and geopolitical tensions, carries baggage. Concerns about surveillance and control linger in public discourse, amplified by media even without concrete evidence. In a world where trust is everything, Harmony OS must do more than just perform. It must persuade. And then there are the incumbents. Android and iOS are more than operating systems. They are vast ecosystems supported by trillion-dollar companies with deep pockets, global reach, and loyal user bases. They dominate app markets and set user expectations. Displacing them will require more than innovation. It will demand consistency, perseverance, and belief from users, developers, and markets alike. From users, developers, and markets alike. Still, the shift is happening. Harmony OS is no longer just a curiosity. It's a genuine contender, appealing to users exhausted by fragmented experiences, frustrated by privacy compromises, and eager for something more. It represents hope, a new path forward. Because the future of operating systems is no longer just about phones, it's about ecosystems. Devices that don't merely connect, but truly understand. Technology that fades into the background, allowing life to flow smoothly, without resistance.
Harmony OS isn't just promising that future, it's building it. And slowly, but surely, the world is starting to take notice. The question now isn't whether Harmony OS will rise,